Hey, Najums. This is the property on Chama. Looking out the front door. Um, there's the uh, formal dining room. We're facing the formal family room here. Um, this house is up in Troon. It's on that same street um, as the one on 120th. It's actually just off that, like around the corner, because um, obviously it's on Chama. Um, but it's in that same neighborhood. Um, I like this house. It's not, again, it's not Tuscan, which is good. It's kind of almost country, but it's not like um, ticky-tacky country. It's kind of like a nice, tasteful. Um, this is the living room. Got a big built-in piece here. Um, and nice hardwood floors. They're that, like kind of pounded hardwood. Um, and then a huge kitchen. Everything is um, sort of yellow and white and stainless steel. Um, and it's got some, it's got a big pantry, an acceptable pantry. It's not like the biggest ever, but, um, and a little warming drawer. Got a desk over there. This is the eating kitchen area. Um, so it's nice. Little three-sided sink. Um, it just seems to be really well taken care of. Very clean, very uncluttered. Um, this is the powder. This is the big negative, I think. I mean, it's not horrible, but this would be the room that you would use as an office, I think. And it just doesn't have any real office-y features. Um, and it's got, it's got a bathroom. It's actually a really nice bathroom. I kind of love the bathrooms. Um, uh, but it just doesn't have any big closet. Um, it doesn't have any features that make it really feel like an office. You'd have to put in your built-ins, and it's just carpeted. It doesn't have, like, the special ceiling or anything. Um, so it's kind of the only thing that's lacking. It has the room for it. It just would need to be done. Um, here's the garage sort of normal sized. It does have cabinets and it's very clean. Um, and we've got, oh, you know what? I think I skipped the laundry room. Then we've got two um, good sized ba bedrooms with bathrooms and closets. This one, um, yeah, they're all very pretty. This one would probably be the pool bath because it's got the exterior door to the yard and it's just got a shower. Um, so those are your two guest rooms over on this side of the house. This is the laundry room here I missed. Um, not the biggest laundry room, but nicely put together for hanging stuff. Let's go a little bit of cabinets on this side. Um, so still nice. Um, over on the other side of the house. Usually, and I, you could probably do it either way, you could put the exercise room over there and make this room your den, because most of the houses that we see have master over here and then den. Um, and this one they're using as their exercise room. And I actually think it's good as an exercise room because it, this is another one that sort of connects to the um, master bath. Um, so it loops around. It's got a door in that's the master, and then that's the master bath. So we'll go in the master side to see that. Um, nice tall built-ins here, fireplace, big area for sitting, and then it's got a door to the backyard. The views are gorgeous. This one's really, we'll go out in the backyard because it's worth seeing. Um, it has that same kind of secluded feel that the other one you guys liked. So that's that room. Um, there are two toilets. There's one here, and this is the shower, which is nice. It has three shower heads, I think. Um, and then we've got the big tub here. And it's got shades that go down. I think they're automatic. You just push a button. Um, and you can get in yeah, from that side, too. Um, this is the other toilet. 
Um, I love the closet just because it's, number one, so organized, which is nice to see because, you know, that's sort of indicative of how they've cared for the house. Um, and then it's just, it's a good size. I think it's a really nice, and it's got the stuff in the middle for you to put things in. And I think it's nice, and it's got windows, and it feels airy and open and nice. That's kind of the whole house sort of feels like that. Airy and open and nice. Um, we're going to go out this door just so you can get a quick look at the back. <coughs> okay. So there's no agent here to tell me. There was somebody else showing it when I showed up, um, but they're gone. Um, but I think uh, we're on a cul-de-sac here. That's the next door lot. I, I'm fairly certain, 99% sure, there's no lot in between us there. And there is all of this open space back here, which I feel pretty confident is NAOS. Because it's that area that has all the NAOS behind it. The, the next lot over, you can see the house right there. Just barely. It's kind of that, that house right. So there is a house there, which they can't really see into this yard, and we can't see into theirs. But I think all of this is NAOS. Um, I believe the lot ends where you see that little black line right there. Um, and then the rest is just NAOS. But I'm going to check on the tax records and make sure. It does have a beautiful pool here and a spa. And then it's got all of this covered area um, and a barbecue right there. And then this is a little grassy area. So this is one where it just has a really nice ideal yard. Um, I think, yeah, I think the only negative thing would be that you'd have to do your office um, and do any built-ins that you wanted to. Otherwise, I think it's a nice one.